Hey guys, hope you have that cup of joe like I do, because it's time for a coffee break in the Bible. Now, let me ask you this. How can we be content in a world that says we can have it all and we can have it all right now? And to answer that, we're going to take a brief look at 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6, 7, and 10. And the Bible says, But godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, and we can take nothing out of it. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. So, let's face it, today, you know, when, when people look at this scripture specifically, they're looking at money, but it's, it's so much more than that. It's money, but it's also things, it's stuff, those material items. You know, these days, you can't listen to the radio, look at the internet, watch TV, you can't even read like a magazine or a newspaper anything without something being advertised to you saying, hey, you need to have this. Um, all the bells, the whistles, the glitz, the glam, the newest, the, bra the baddest thing on the planet, you know, all this stuff that if people get hung up on. And people get hung up on a lot. And it's a trap. And let me remind you that this is the same temptation that Christ had in the wilderness when the devil tested him. He said, he said, you didn't have to die. You can have it all. You can have it all right now. It's the same trap that Satan is trying to pull on us. You see, despite the overwhelming evidence, people believe that having money and material things and wealth is going to bring them happiness. But the fact is, it's not. They might be happy for a moment, but then they're already looking on to that next greater thing. And, and it is a cycle that can lead to destruction. So, what do we do? How do we avoid this trap? Well, one, just as the scripture here tells us, we need to realize that one day we're going to pass away. And we don't get to take our stuff with us. It's all going to be left behind for our family to deal with. So we need to learn to be happy with what we have. And when it no longer makes you happy, well, guess what? The Bible even tells us we should love people more than our stuff, more than money. You know, it tells us to love our neighbors. So knowing that, you know, especially you have something, clothes, for instance, that you haven't worn for a long time. Take them and give them away. Give them to Goodwill. Uh, maybe, you know, or a thrift store. Or, um, you know, there's that down and out person, you know, that's just down on their luck that, that you know, they can use a little love. You know what? That, sh that old T-shirt that you haven't worn in years might be just a thing that's going to make their day. So take the blessings that you have. And pass them on to somebody else because that will bless them as well. It's just another way to show God's love. And remember, we should love what God does in our lives more than the stuff. Because God's love and God's work in us is preparing us for the day that we go to join Him. And his kingdom in heaven. So take what you have. Make it work for you. Be happy with it. If it no longer brings you joy. And it no longer works for you. Pass it along to someone who it will. God bless.